Keith is from back today, and I am going to be talking about my clownfish. If you haven't noticed them, they are always trying to butt each other out of the way to get in the camera, so all of you people can see them and decide which of them is more beautiful. Anyway, they are extraordinarily aggressive. When I got my engineer Gobi, if you haven't seen him, he's always hiding under a rock. I'll do a video on him. They... I put a couple of damsels in when I got my engineer Gobi. And I put them in, and almost immediately my clowns kept attacking them. And beating them up, beating them senseless, ripping their fins apart. And they were forced into hiding. And every time they poked their head out, the clowns would just come and destroy them. I couldn't really do anything about it. Pretty soon they got so ill and weak and shredded that they died and I couldn't really do anything about it. But they are really aggressive towards smaller fish than them. So I haven't gotten any more damsels or anything to put in there for display. But I'm thinking about getting a um, bigger fish to put in there so that can be a display fish <coughs> coral beauty <coughs> anyway they uh, are really really beautiful I don't really regret having them uh, they really put a shine in the tank they're really beautiful and if you haven't seen my engineer Gobi that's him coming out of his cubby hole he's really pretty but my clowns are really active. They usually hang up out in the, the top right corner of my tank or down below in the top right to sleep at night. They're really pretty. They don't host in my anemone because it's condylactis and it stings too big for them. I wish they would host in it. But later on in the future, I might get a, uh, uh, like a bubble tip and enemy to put in there for them to kind of hang out in. But that's about it for my clowns. One just got a bruise on his head because he was wrestling with food with the other fish. And I guess he bumped into a rock or something. But that's about it for them. They're really pretty and add shine to the tank. Oh, and the smaller one in the fish store, get a small one and a big one. Because if you get the same size each in your tank, they will dom find out who's more dominant. And the person that gets beat down the most and loses the fight will become the male. And the one that wins the fight will become the female. And the male will become small and the female become big and so you should go ahead and buy a dominant female and a weak male to put in the same tank so they don't have that problem of fighting they're already uh distinguished on who's more firm and is the leader so to speak but that's about it stay tuned leave a comment subscribe you know my email it's in my description bye guys see you later